Hey everyone, Julian here today. Going to be showing you how to make hard melodic techno, Nikki, a Streffy style. As usual, you can get this full project file, samples, MIDI, presets, the entire template is available at the top of the description on my website. Definitely go grab that. It's a really great template. You'll be able to make really awesome techno tracks today, guaranteed, if you grab this template. Links at the top of the description. Thanks for the support, everybody. Every little bit helps. And let's dive in. Alright, so we're at 138 BPM. I always say this is like the original techno tempo, right? Like it's that perfect speed. And the first thing we got is the rumble kick. Alright, so this kick is made with a few different layers. It's starting with just a nice punchy 909. You can see we're cutting a lot of the sub out of that so that we don't get that like but still leaving in some low frequencies. We also have a punch for that kick, so what I'm doing is I'm taking the exact same kick, right? And we're just distorting it. And then high passing it. And it, you can see this adds a lot more click if you layer that with the other kick. Here's without it. With it. So it's a good trick for that. And then we have our rumble. So the way I'm making this is it's another kick actually, it's not the same one, but it's another kick sample. It's playing 16th notes. And you can see I dragged the start time for it a little, so I'll put it back and show you why. See how it's a lot higher pitched? It's because a kick is literally just like a sound where it starts at a very, very high pitch and really quickly becomes a low pitch. You can see that, where like the waveform here is closer together and then it kind of spreads out, that's the pitch getting lower, right? So in theory, if you drag the start time over, you're able to play with the pitch of that and find that like low pitch that's going to work. So that's what I did. Low pass it. Auto pan to make it bounce off the kick. And then we're converting it to mono. And then the last layer is we have that same exact thing with a little bit more processing to kind of add some texture because you get this big powerful rumble right and then you want to add some kind of like flavor over top of that so we're taking that same rumble what we're doing here is I'll show you the whole chain so it's starting with delay we're band passing that a little which is really to work together with the distortion right turn that off see it gives you like a cleaner distortion we got an auto pan to make it bounce off the kick high pass filter and then we are converting it to mono on the whole group we're just cutting out a little bit more sub again really trying to clean it up so when you go play this in the club it's not and then converting the whole kick to mono at the end so we don't have any phasing issues. Then we have the men in hi-hat. So what's happening here is actually two operator layers. We're using this one and this one. So the first one here is just noise with a bandpass filter, but you can see it's got this hard shaper. So you're kind of getting that like And this one's just a bit of noise, no filtering, but you can see it's really short and punchy, so it kind of just sounds like a hi-hat. And they create this one really fat hi-hat. That sits well over that kick. And I noticed these synthesized drums are how you can get a lot of these crazy textures that you hear in these tracks by this guy. We've also got a ride cymbal, which is really an open 606 hi-hat. I've got a little bit of chorus and reverb on that to kind of give it some width so it stands out, you know, because you have your main hi-hat right down the center, and then this thing is a bit wider, and it's going to help the mix a lot, and then we're also high-passing that. I've got this. So what this is, is basically like some filtered, distorted percussion. What we're doing, here's the original sound. It's like this live drum rock. And then I'm using a bandpass filter. What's happening is you can see the filter's got this LFO on it and it's doing eighth notes on like this saw down. So it's going pew, 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 over top of that groove. And then when you distort it, 
There you go, you can hear it a lot better. So it's kind of using the MIDI and what's happening in there combined with the steady LFO to create like a new kind of percussion. And then we just have a high pass, auto pin to make it fit in with the kick. And there we go. And then the last percussion we have here is this little operator closed hi hat. Really simple, white noise with a really short decay, high pass filter. Then we have the synth sequence. So, this synth, I was trying to get, you know, you, you probably recognize this. So I really wanted to break this down for you. And I think the first thing here is it's two layers, right? When you hear this, you probably are mostly focusing on the... But see, what's happening is it's that, and then it's being, it's working together with... You know, you just had that little synth stab to kind of like set every new bar. And it makes the whole thing a lot more interesting and it kind of makes the groove a lot better. And that's beyond understanding synthesis or music theory. That's just like, you know, making these fit together well and kind of making the synth line a little better. So what this is, is it's this melody we're going. So we're in the key. We're in this like kind of crazy. It's basically A minor. And then we're kind of breaking it with that G sharp there, right? So if this was A minor, it would be like root note, ninth, minor, third. And then we're adding this G sharp, which would kind of be like a major seventh, but really it's like. But it gives you that evil kind of scale. And then what you do when you're keeping the top notes the same but changing the lower note is you're you know, getting a lot of mileage out of those two notes and creating something that's going to get really catchy. So the sound on this one, what it is, is it's actually got an arpeggiator. So without that. See how it makes it da 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 and so just down down. So that's important. And then what we're doing here is it is, so we basically got this sine wave. Inside a wavetable, we've got a noise unison. And then we have FM on the sine wave. And it's detuned. You can see it's that one on the tuning. See, there's the standard tuning, then you tune it just a little. And then we got an envelope on that, as well as this filter cut off here. So I'll show you what that sounds like just coming straight out of the synth, so you can kind of hear that. Then we got some delay, which you can hear is adding a lot of rhythm. A little bit of grain delay, too, which helps kind of, you know, send it into the stratosphere and make it crazy. And then a bit of distortion to add some texture. Then for the other synth stab, it's just playing the two notes that are changing in that other. With this one, what we're doing is we got analog, we got two saw waves, just a little bit of a low pass, kind of, you want this to be a bit deeper, not so like, yeah. That doesn't sound very good. You want like, a bit more subdued so it can fit into the mix. We got a bunch of unison, a bit of chorus, reverb. We're distorting it with amp. Here's without that. With it. So you may not even necessarily notice that so much, but it's just adding a bit of texture and kind of changing the flavor of the synth. And then we're just high passing it so it'll fit in with everything else. <laughs> And yeah, so that's going to be it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed. As always, make sure to like this video as well as subscribe. And let me know what you think of this video in the comments. Like I said in the beginning, you can get this template. Links at the top of the description. Definitely don't miss it while it's available. Really great template. Really will help you get your tracks to the next level today. You know, even if you just use this kick or something, there's some really, really great resources in this template. Definitely don't miss out. There's nothing else like it on the market. Thanks for the support, everybody. And I'll see you tomorrow with another video.